welcome back to another episode of the Scottish Hero. And we are Clyde and we like to draw games because we've been playing a lot of draws uh, since last episode where we got the 3 1 uh, victory. We had one draw, two draws, and one win. And um, this game was actually really crazy. <laughs> if you look at this, they took the lead at the seventh minute. We equalized in the 27th. And we took the lead in the 30th, and then they <laughs> equalized in the 31st minutes, and then they took the lead in the 35th minutes, and then it calmed down, and then finally we equalized in the 79th minutes. But it was a really, really crazy first half there, like an insane first half with, with five goals. Um, today we have two really, really interesting games. First off, we are up against uh, Edinburgh, and... Uh, then we're going to skip the cup game, because I will most likely uh, lose it on purpose anyways. And then for the second game today, we're up against Sterling. And if you take a look at the league table, you will see why this is such an important game. First off, today's game uh, against Edinburgh. We are playing them, and they are top of the table. And then Sterling, that we will play in the second game, they are currently in second position. So yeah, very, very hugely important games. And we start off, uh, start off away against uh, Edinburgh, so it's going to be a really tough away game, but can we get a good result from these two games? We will be in a great position for at least playoff positions, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough. Like, we're definitely not going to get anything for free here. Uh, so we're going to have to fight here. And, uh, yeah... And we are playing with the um, same formation and the same players as last time. Nothing has changed here. We are focusing on, uh, on our strongest team basically as long as they are fit. And since we are trying to skip the cup games, hopefully we they will stay fit for most of the season. And yeah, it's game on. And as I said, we are playing the league leaders and we are playing them away. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. But we are here to hopefully get some points. And uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, intro highlight will be over soon and not become a real highlight for them. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it became a real highlight for us though, but it doesn't. So yeah, game on. And uh, this early on is pretty even when it comes to the possession. We have created a few more chances than them, but still no real highlight. And the first half is really ticking on quickly. It's ticking on really, really quickly. We are getting up to the halftime mark here, and it's been a very very boring first half i must say um i'm not happy but look at the statistics uh, and you will see he's gonna bring it up here pause the game um even though we didn't get any, any highlights we are 11 to 2 in shots so we have been bombarding their goal even though we didn't get any real highlights that's pretty good and look at the fouls the nine fouls go okay, to our two so look at these stats it looks like we are dominating things but Everybody has played football mansion knows dominating a game is not the same thing as winning. I mean, everybody has been FM'd a lot of times where you completely dominate the game and then end up losing. So, yeah. Um, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I always get nervous when it's a draw. Draw or a one goal lead makes me nervous. Um, Eaton going for McLennan. Back all the way back here. Uh, Linton, and we are advancing on the left flank. Here's the cross, and nothing but... Oh, it's, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! And uh, this is good news, and it's bad news. The good news is we have a penalty. The bad news is I don't think we have any strong penalty takes on the pitch. I think, like, probably the one that's going to take this is maybe an 11 or 12 in penalty taking uh, at the most. But hopefully their goal is really bad also. McLennan. And it makes no mistake, we are in the lead. Could we get three points from this game? Then it would be huge. That would be enormous. Because we are playing against the league leaders. So, yeah, this could be could be uh, like the game of the season. This could be like when thing turns around and we really like start fighting with top positions. But we shouldn't take anything for granted here. Because, yeah, you know, during the past games, it wouldn't be the first time that we 
conceded a goal after winning the lead, but it's McLennan again! It's McLennan again! And it's a goal! It's a goal! It's a goal! McLennan wins his eighth goal this season! And yeah, th this is a sensational result this far. This is just pure magic. Just fantastic. First off, look at that pass from the half, like half pitch line. Like, that's not a League 2 pass. That's a Premiership pass. And then McLennan with a beautiful finisher. And yeah, this is turning out to become like a sensational game if we can keep this up for for the last uh, minutes. Um, yeah, whoa, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> if you haven't, if you can't tell already, definitely excited. So uh, let's uh, sub some of the players that's not having a great game. I think it's time for Malaga. I don't think he had started any of the games. Uh, during the season, he's a talent for the future, but he's an attacking midfielder. This is not right. Not his best or strongest position, but yeah. I'm gonna go for it, subbing the two players that are having the worst. Or not at least not producing as good as the rest of the guys. Because uh, none of them were like dying. But yeah, whoa. Taking us some seconds here to calm down a bit, but that was crazy, crazy, crazy. And here's uh, Easton McNeil. McLennan, is he going for the hat trick? Could be. We still have the possession. Don't make any mistakes now, because they have two attackers up there just waiting to get the chance. I want to talk about it, damn it. At least McNeilan cleared it, but it's not over. It's not over. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. And that was a bit, stop, a bit optimistic, and probably the highlight's going to be over now, but yeah, definitely a bit optimistic with, with that finisher. As long as they are not getting any highlights, I'm kind of happy. And of course, when I talk talks like that, I'm jinxing it, and here they are. But we are hitting on the counter-attack. Here's McLennan for a hat-trick, for a hat-trick, for a hat-trick, for a hat-trick! McLennan with the hat-trick! What an evening the young lad is having. What a game. This is sensational. Hat-trick away against the league leaders. The team that are topping the league table. And what does Mac Lennon think about that? Well, he thinks it's hat-trick time. And I agree with him. I definitely agree. Doing a hat-trick away against the league leaders. That's, that's always okay in my world. As long as we are the ones uh, scoring the hat-trick. Um, yeah, let's go for another sub then, and uh, something like that. And yeah, 10 more minutes, and this result, this is sensational. This is crazy, this is magic, this is fantastic. Completely fantastic. That's Higgins. And it's going to be a red card there, but it's a little bit too late to affect this game. But still, it could be good news for us, because that might mean that they are missing one of the stronger players for other games. And this is a team that we could be fighting on, uh, fighting against for, for uh, uh, the top spots at the end of the season. So it could be good for us. Of course, it could also be get bad, because that would mean that one of our competitors might get a win about, against them. But this was a really, really... I'm going to go... Now look at the, the ratings. not going to go too happy, but it's a fantastic result. Really, really good. And look at this, because uh, the next game is, of course, against uh, Sterling. And now they are top, uh, top of the, topping the league table. So this episode, we're going to have two games in a row against the team that are topping the league table. So let's move forward to that game then. And here we are. And uh, between uh, this little... Uh, jump into the future we played that cup game i was talking about earlier and now we plan to lose it worked out fine using only backup players or uh, benched players uh, especially since we got an early red card during the first half the opponents beat us easily the only unlucky thing was that our main backup uh, striker uh, got injured for like four months and we only have four strikers and he's the one i've been using like on the bench to sub uh, my current strikers when they get tired so that's really unfortunate since we just since we have so very few strikers but other than that things went um, according to plan 
And now it's time for the Sterling game. Second game in a row against a team that are topping the league. And hopefully we can do as well as the last game. They're really focusing on the midfield here. Uh, we are currently playing controlling uh, as an instruction here, but since they have five men here in the middle, they might be winning the midfield, so we might need to change that uh, instruction around. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, that could uh, give us some trouble. But we are playing them at home, and if there's any time we're going to beat them, it will be at home. Uh, but with my luck, we're probably going to lose at home and beat them away or some weird shit uh, that usually happens to me. Um, so what do you want to say to the lads? Try to get them a little bit more motivated. Um, try to uh, have them... Uh, yeah, at least they're happy. I prefer them to be fired up, but... Uh, I mean, we need them to have some good morale. I want to take an extra look here. Actually, we have the possession here. And it looks like we are getting hit for the counter-attack here by little and i was very optimistic was it the highlight or is something going to happen now douglas here uh, with the ball that was the highlight a very very optimistic finisher by them we are currently yeah well it's very close there on the possession it's almost 50 50. let's see uh, where the other highlights go so they got the first one uh 21 minutes 22 minutes played not much going on uh, but here's a corner, he's done with the corner. And... Ooh, I felt that that was really close, but maybe this is going to be a counter-attack. Because it's a little... Like, ooh, could it be on the other way around? This, like, what a weird highlight. I, and he's Morrison with the corner. And Macmillan, Macmillan, can we create something from here? Ah, what the hell? What's up with that one? Really weird, but maybe, maybe it's not over. Like the highlights in, in this game, like, I never have an idea where they're going. But here's Lennon, and you know Lennon likes to score, but that was a weak finisher. Gave uh, Dawson there in their goal, no problem at all. Really weak finisher from um, our goal scoring machine there, McLennan. Yellow card there for Dorijaye. And we are getting closer to half time. maybe we need to change things up. We are currently now dominating the possession. I'm gonna try try out counter attack and see how that works during uh, the second second half. And then of course we can go a little bit more direct passes because uh, we want to speed things up for the counter attack. The lads need to know I'm not happy with uh, the first half. Definitely not. We we expect more from them. I mean we are playing uh, the league, the team that is topping the league table, but we are playing them at home, so. We, is there any place that we want to take three points? It should be at home. And some really low ratings here from our strikers. And nothing, nothing goes on at all. Nothing at all. Maybe we should go attacking for, for the last 20 minutes because it doesn't seem like counter attacking is working either. Another jello card there. So let's go attacking. Let's um, make some subs here. I mean, Lennon, he is our god, but he's been really shitty today. But since he's so fantastic, let's let's just keep him. Because uh, if the, anybody that can create something out of nothing, it's him. So even though he's had a shitty game, maybe, maybe, maybe he can improve. And uh, who else? Point of instructions that could work for Flynn, not perfect. Actually, let's go for two playmakers in the middle. We need to be constructive here, because uh, we want to go for a goal. And we are going to tell the team, uh, passionate, we want them to push forward. Last 15 minutes here, we are attacking, we are going for the win. They're probably going to come back and bite us in our ass, as usual. Because it wouldn't be football manager if it doesn't happen. It's Lipton with throw in. Play by the defense. McLaren. But oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at. Oh my god! Lennon! Why didn't I sub you? Why? I kept him on. I, I said like I was going to sub him. And I changed my mind the last second. And imagine if. Oh! It's a goal. It's an own goal by Dixon. It's an own goal. My god. 
This game is gonna give me a heart attack. Look at this, the corner, clear by the defense. Linton puts it back into the box. And it's, oh my god, I'm not sure what Dixon's up there, because it wasn't like a like hard shot, a quick one, uh, anything. It was just weird. And now we're going to try to go defensive again, again here. And we have one last sub. What we're going to do, we can't, unfortunately, we can't sub Litton. Could we? Could we sub Litton just because it's been so bad? We don't have any, like, really good option, but... Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Malaga, you're our, our new striker here. Um, yeah, like that. And then for, uh, for Flynn, we want you to focus on defense. And uh, actually, we could use Malaga's uh, defensive forward. Like that. And yeah. 10 minutes, 11 maybe, some extra time, and we have the chance here for a really, really good result. But yeah, here they are. It's Faria, Osborne, Jeffries, back to Faria, Osborne, Faria. A long cross, it's a long cross, cleared by defense. And could this be a counter-attack? Could this be? Could, no, what a bad pass, but it's not over, it's not over, here's McDonald, 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 <laughs> why is my strike is so bad today, why, they missed two, two chances, we were like alone with a goalie, we have missed during this game, damn it, damn it, damn it, and the clock is ticking, and he's eating more from them, Jeffries, going for Dixon, and clear by defense. McDonald is very lonely here. You can tell that we are using the defensive setting because he was completely alone. And don't do anything bad now. Don't do anything bad here, Douglas. This looks decent. Easton. Easton. Johnson. Johnson from Malaga. All the way back to McNeil. Flynn. Johnson. And intercepted is Dixon. The long ball is McLaren. Oh, thank God he he shoots like that. That looked like a, like a pass to somebody like uh, beside, like far away from the goal. I'm not sure. Not that I'm complaining. And the ref should blow the whistle at any time now. And this is a really. I mean, we are playing them at home, so it's not like sensational that we are winning. But it's a really, really good result for us. Really good. Very important. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We are actually topping the league table now. Since we, we won both against Edinburgh and Sterling. Two games in a row. Uh, really, really, really good result for us here. <laughs> nice to be back on, on some winning here after all those draws and things like that. So... Yeah, really good, fantastic episode with two really important wins. This could definitely, definitely, like, these wins like this that's going to help us get promoted the next season. But enough talking, that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode.